Let's switch gears now to core politics. To the crisis rocking the People's Democratic Party, the Senator McCarthy Group has said it will pursue the appeal uh, of the appeal court to the apex court. But the Governor Seriake Dixon Committee on Reconciliation has met both groups in the matter. Senator Sharif and Senator Ahmed McCarthy, an agreement was reached, but today the Senator McCarthy Group came out to say that uh, that was not a political solution, but a mere gentleman agreement on conduct of leaders and members. Take a look at what the Catechic Committee said earlier today. They said, and I quote, for the record, the agreement was not a political solution, but rather an understanding reached urging representative of the key actors from both groups not to dissipate energy amongst themselves, but to focus on how to unite a formidable force capable of regaining power from the failed or progressive Congress APC-led government in the 2019. Member of uh, the Reconciliation Committee now joins us, uh, former uh, Deputy Senate President and a member of the PDP Board of Trustees, Senator Ibrahim Mantu, joins us from our Buja studio. Many thanks for joining us on the program. Do you see a political solution to this matter, or you think the case might eventually be resolved at the Supreme Court? Well, uh, our hope and desire is to have a political solution because we believe that um, a political solution will be more beneficial to the party than a legal solution because whatever happens, even when people go to war, they have to sit on a, on, on a round table to dialogue and reach a kind of a solution. I believe that uh, we are on the way to a political solution, which is what the Constitutional Committee yearns for, the uh, Supreme Court appeal notwithstanding. It, it looks as if uh, the, the, there's a bit of a distrust in the Governor Sariake Disc, uh, Dixon Committee on the, uh, reconciling the, uh, the, the warring factions in the party. Uh, have you been able to uh, get a sense of, uh, of connection with the Senator Ahmed McAlefi group uh, to trust the reconciliation movement made by the committee? Well, we are just like a referees or like referees. Our, our desire is to make sure that the two comes close ranks because they are members of the same family. And we see this feud as a family feud. Uh, it is our hope and desire that eventually what we are doing will actually lead to a political reconciliation. We have made some progress. Uh, don't forget that in the past, the two sides, the two camps see themselves as warring uh, factions, uh, but we are now gradually closing ranks. The fact that we were able to sit together yesterday with representatives for the two camps, signing an agreement not to um, dissipate energy on attacking each other, but perhaps to pull their resources together and energy together to attack the ruling party, which is what, they, which is what we should rightfully do. If you look at the conditions brought to the table by uh, Senator Sharif and the conditions brought to the table by uh, Senator McCarthy. For example, Senator McCarthy group is saying that the Senator Sharif should resign. They should get lawyers to come to the table. Do you think that these uh, conditions are realistic in resolving, bringing a political solution to the matter? Well, uh, both sides are in order to have their positions, but you see, the party is greater than Senator Sharif or Senator McCarthy. The party is greater than them, and I believe that uh, the efforts that we are making in contacting all the stakeholders and key organs of the party is with a view to getting everybody to be in a room at a point in time for us to sit and take a collective decision that will be binding on everybody. And I believe that if all the stakeholders and organs of the party come together and take a common decision, I believe that they will get uh, Senator McCarthy and Sharif to uh, sh shift grounds in order to accommodate the collective decision of the stakeholders and organs of the party. Thanks now. Who, in your view, and in the side of the, com uh, of the committee, 
is the leader of the party or the chairman of the PDP. Well, uh, we are no abiding citizens of Nigeria. The appeal court declared uh, Senator Ali Madu Sharif as the authentic chairman of the PDP for now. Ali Madu Sharif remains the national chairman of the PDP as of now until set aside by the Supreme Court or otherwise. Senator Ali Madu Sharif has said that he wants to conduct a national convention for the PDP, but the Senator Ahmed Makarifi group says they do not trust him to conduct a, a national convention. Do you think that Senator Ali Madu Sharif has a capacity or the, 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 he has a wherewithal in terms of the political wherewithal to conduct a national convention that will uh, douse the tension in the PDP? Whether McCarthy or Sharif is the chairman of the party, none of them can just conduct a convention without inputs from the organs of the party. And that is why in our template, we, we, we categorized or we listed down all the organs of the party that must contribute membership to the convention planning committee. And that once every stakeholder and every organ of the party is adequately represented in the convention planning committee, all interests will be taken care of and nobody will be shortchanged. Are you disappointed, Senator Mantu, that two, almost two years since your party lost in the 2015 election, you have not been able to play a viral position role that many Nigerians thought that your party would be able to play? And one will want to think, is your party really ready for a contest come 2019? Well, uh, what is happening in the PDP is not unusual. It is common in all political organizations to have this kind of internal party disputes. And um, it's democracy in action. I believe that uh, as soon as we're able to sort ourselves together and put our house in order, we will be ready to actually take our government from the, PD, from the ruling party in 2019. Don't forget that PDP remains the most popular party in Nigeria, even in, in, even in opposition. As I talk to you now, our members are there waiting and hoping that we resolve our problem as quickly as possible so that they will now, uh, you know, uh, look forward to playing the roles of uh, taking over power at all stages and at all levels in the 2019 general elections. The membership of your party is uh, consistently being depleted and the National Assembly uh, and uh, it, it, when we wonder where the, the hopes that you have about uh, a possible comeback of your party in 2019 will be coming from who are those that will do the job if almost virtually uh, major members of your party are running away from your party because of the crisis and in this sense will you zone the presidency to the north come 2019 now and first and foremost don't forget that uh, politics is all local is local the individuals that are uh, maybe the campaign from uh, PDP to another party uh, are just individuals. The politics, as you know it, is local. And indeed, voting takes place at the local level, not in Abuja or anywhere. So any individual that, uh, that is uh, in Abuja, either in the House or in the Senate, that decides to uh, they come to another party without carrying his supporters and followership along, is just on his own. As far as we are concerned, we've been conducting the study. We've been going around the country talking to our people. Uh, recently, I was in uh, Ogun State, and I was amazed at the teeming supporters that came out uh, at, 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 at the house uh, as, as a town hall meeting. In fact, the place was uh, inadequate. We had over 200 people, and we had to do it outside because the, 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 uh, the party is so popular at the grassroots level. And we are, those are the people we are targeting. Senator Ibrahim Mantu, former Deputy Senate President and uh, a member of the PDP uh, Board of Trustees, talking to us from our booth yesterday. And that's our show for today. Many thanks for being part of it. On behalf of the team, I'm Sean Kimale. Back for now.